Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. Now for most people, as we look at life, we have this tendency to think that I'll be happy if everybody likes me. And in a, in a social media world, it's so easy you post something and, and, and you have a tendency, we all do, to get our worth from the comments. Do people like it? Do people think it's fun or whatever? We put a picture on, on Instagram and we, and, and we want people to say, oh, that looks great. Oh, you're so beautiful and all this stuff. But, but here's the thing. According to Jesus, when you are following after him, not everyone's going to like you. And really, we see it in the Beatitudes where when someone is pursuing Jesus, what I like to call the crazy happy life, that sometimes it lands when you're doing all things for Jesus and you're pursuing him, that it lands in persecution. Jesus said it himself in John chapter 15. He says, don't be surprised if the world hates you. Remember that if they hated me, they're going to hate you also. And we have this tendency to think, man, I'll be super happy if everyone likes me. And Jesus actually said in Luke chapter 6, woe to you when all people speak well of you. Now, really what this is saying is the only thing that really matters is what God says that we are. And our happiness should be found in who God says we are, not that everyone likes us. Because I'm here to tell you, if everyone is happy with you, I'm pretty sure you're not honoring God in your life. Now, I talk about this more in my book, Crazy Happy, Nine Surprising Ways to Live the Truly Beautiful Life, which you can pick up wherever you like to buy books. And we get into some of the nitty gritty of that. But I simply want to encourage you to only focus on what God thinks about who you are. And don't worry, there's always going to be people who don't agree with you, who don't like you. But don't let that define who you are because the cross of Jesus Christ says that you are the beloved of God. How powerful is that? Now, I want you to share this video because it's important that we make sure we build our identity on the finished work of Jesus and not anything else. And in the comment section, I want you to tell me what you know God thinks about you. There's so many scriptures that teach us that. And it'll be important for us to be able to get a whole catalog of these, this is what God thinks about us as people in Christ so that we can be encouraged by the scriptures. And God bless you today.